welcome to the show. We've got a great show for you tonight. And listen, well done, all of you, for making it here after all the chaos on the trains this week. I mean, it's been a mess, hasn't it? Uh, here's the man in charge. Transport Secretary Chris Grayling. Even he's saying bollocks to this, I'm going to walk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, the press have started calling Chris Grayling Failing Grayling. Mm -hmm. It's a clever nickname because, you know, it sums him up and it rhymes. Yeah, they got the idea from Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> uh, also, don't leave it, leave it. Uh, also, this week, Heathrow's third runway got the go ahead. Very controversial. No one's sure how the expansion will go. I wonder who's in charge. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, they can always get some cheap European builders to come over and help to. Oh, no, hang on, no, they can't do that. <laughs> Johnson is adamant the new runway won't be built and has vowed to lie down in front of the bulldozer. Yeah, bad news, Boris. Guess who's driving it? <laughs> uh, let's get some guests on! <laughs> Later, uh, how cool is this? We'll be joined by the greatest sprinter of all time, the one and only Usain Bolt, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! And with the music from the amazing Florence and the Machine! Yeah! First, from Gavin and Stacey, Would I Lie to You and The Trip. This man is one of our favourite entertainers. Now he's making a splash on the big screen in new Brit comedy, Swimming With Men. Please welcome back, Rob Brydon! <laughs> One has been making her name in comedies like Josh and Fresh Meat, and the other is quite simply a comedy legend. Please welcome mother and daughter duo Jennifer Saunders and B.D. Edmonton! <laughs> Rob has appeared in films like Step Up, Jump Street, Foxcatcher, and of course, Magic Mike. Now he's bringing sexy to the West End calm with <laughs> Magic Mike Live. It's a pleasure to welcome back Mr. Channing Tatum! <laughs> They scream like you are going to take your clothes off. <laughs> no, 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 not, not tonight. Please, please. Oh. No, no, no. no. Just, just manage expectations. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't take them off, that woman will. She's like, she's like you first. I know. If, if you will, I will. Uh. I noticed a lot of hair adjustment in the audience as it came out. <laughs> yeah, nothing for you guys. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, we, we look good enough for they them. They were looking yeah. beyond this. <laughs> 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 And now, welcome to you all. But oddly, I think this is a first. We've had, uh, you know, husband and wives. We've had uh, brothers and sisters. I don't, we've never had a mother-daughter combo oh, on the couch. Well, how extraordinary! Oh, well, maybe there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, 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 one, no other mother has clung to their daughter's career <laughs> and forced herself into all her shows. <laughs> 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 Of course, welcome back to, to Rob and to Channing. And uh, now I know you're very excited to meet Usain Bolt. Yes, I'm, I've never been more excited to be next to a man's legs in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. And you've been next to a lot of them. Oh, I'm going to yeah. be fixing my hair. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Rob, you are going to be unimpressed by Usain Bolt. You're used to hanging out with big sporting stars, aren't you? Uh, uh, no, we have a picture of you. This is you with Anthony Josh. Oh, yes. Now, now yes. <laughs> Can explain. What sport? <laughs> what sport is that? <laughs> the, the net. It's a ventriloquy. The net in tennis is very high, <laughs> and I couldn't see over it. So he just said, "No, I'm, I'm jumping because I am very athletic." Of course, um, yes. I, coiled. I, I, the coiled spring, and that, <laughs> it does look as though he's just gone. There you go, mate. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's using you as a racket. <laughs> 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 now, there's loads of things to talk about tonight. We've got uh, two, two homegrown movies uh, from Rob and Beatty and Jennifer. But we start with Channing Tatum's latest project, Magic Mike Live. Wow. Now... <laughs> 
I'll put a shot with your name on it. It will open November the 10th at Hippodrome yeah. Casino here in London. And tickets, you can buy them now, right? Yes, actually, but uh, the first six months is actually sold out, and we are announcing the next six months. So. Well, if you're wondering, if you're wondering what the show might entail, mm. uh, here's, a, here's a, a little <laughs> taster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's just <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can, can, can I ask just before you go? Yes. I, I auditioned a few months ago and I. <laughs> no, 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 it's just I, I've not heard anything. Should, should I take that as a no or, or, or are you still it's deciding? Maybe. It's a maybe. It's still, it's a, still maybe. a maybe. Yes, it's we, still a we, maybe. Have, we have uh, an audition in, uh, in this month and in July in Paris, so you're still. It's, oh, it's still so up. I might get a call back. Yes, yes, just keep <laughs> uh, the phone. All right. All right. <laughs> I am going to. No, I don't think. No, I am going to. I'm definitely going to go and see it. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does look you amazing. It does look amazing. Like mm. I wasn't aware of your work. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, it's, I don't know how that passed me by. He does other things. The research has been great fun. <laughs> Had a really good few I'm days. I'm sweating. Now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Hippodrome, Hippodrome Casino. I believe is that. I think that's in Westminster. I think. So, what are they allowing you to show? How many of the clothes are they taking off? Uh, enough. Uh, uh, enough. Um, I don't want to give it all away. Uh, they we don't give it all away. Not all away. Oh, well, no, no, no. But you won't be. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. <laughs> In it, are you? You're just the. You're I might if I that. ever get in shape enough again, ever. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Well, it's not on till November. What are you doing here? Jog around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say if I ever get in shape again. Is, is this you having let yourself? Go? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a dad now. Like uh, these guys, you can see their spleen. This is not a dad like, bod. <laughs> this is not a dad bod. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, because and Abisi, you're a fan of the film. Yes, big fan of the film. Oh, well. hi. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But now, but BZ, um, you thought, you thought, after the film, yeah. you thought, hey, let's do that. Uh huh. For my cousin's Hendu, we went to a night in Clapham to see a sort of Magic Mike esque show and very disappointing. <laughs> really? <laughs> just yeah. quite sad. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be like, oh, you don't have to, you can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot of Mike, not a lot of magic. No, right? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But as you saw in the clip, I mean, and in the film, I mean, uh, people are pulled out of the audience yes. to take part in this. <laughs> it is very hands-on. You will, uh, you will get what you give in the show. I can guarantee you. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's very but can you, you have to say? Can you say no? Can again? you say no? Can you yes. say please don't? Yeah, yeah, no. It, I promise. When I say like the, the guys, we have some of the best guys. They're all like they all love their mom. They're all like really, really good. <laughs> They're all like really good guys. I know it sounds silly, but it's not easy to give a lap dance. Like to get up in somebody's space and to do it halfway yeah. where you're, like, not feeling attacked. Yeah. Like, you kind of need to be a good it's human being. very, very... <laughs> you know, I'm not There are days when I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, Graham, but I have to go out there. I've got to do... <laughs> the people, what they Dig want. Dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think... I'm right, say, I think there's something about male stripping that it's just more good-humoured. Like, the audience... Yeah. I laugh and it's it's sexy but it's funny at the same time in a way that kind of I think women's strip clubs are quite grim. Yeah, because it's like yeah. carnal, you have some guy that's like, uh, yeah, get <laughs> <laughs> women are just like trying to embarrass their friends, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a good it's good fun. I, I don't know. I enjoyed it when I did it. But these guys, when I say they're the best dancers in the entire world. We have class, class A dancers and performers. But they get hurt apparently. Yes. It it we've had some injuries, yes. Oh. Some I can't t say on TV, but um, oh. well, how did that happen? Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of sliding involved. Oh, oh. oh splinters! Oh. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it is a wooden stage. Oh. That was a bad choice on our part. <laughs> um, oh. But actually, okay. the most and the most common uh, <laughs> thing that takes one of our dancers out is a cold, a common cold, oh. because you are very close and intimate and some people don't care if they're sick they just keep coming to the show and, um, <laughs> oh. and... the dangers of lap dancing oh. we yeah. did with no idea the common cold <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. but apparently and you wouldn't expect this uh, in the show there's quite a, a sort of sweet tender moment yes so what happens there can i show you oh <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, if everybody would like to join in, um, there, feel free to. Uh, this is one of my favorite moments in the show. It's, uh, it's a slow dance. When's the last time you've slow danced with somebody? Years. Um, you can yes. slow dance with your partners next to you, or. Oh, what are we? So we're going to slow. Oh. Yes. Oh. Music, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, the cameras are broken. We've got to do that again. <laughs> Well, thank you uh, very much. No, it really is like my favorite part of the show. Like everyone gets to slow dance with whoever they're like standing next to. It's um, it's um, it's quite nice. He, do he does smell lovely. <laughs> uh, tequila and nerve nerves. Nerves. <laughs> nervous sweat on. No, you smell very nice. Thank you. I don't know what that is. Yes, but yeah. nice. Now the thing is, the thing is, there are major parallels between Magic Mike and Rob Brighton's new film. There are. Uh, swimming with men. Uh, swimming with men. It opens on July the sixth. <laughs> it's true. Channing, Channing, don't, 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 don't laugh in such uh, <laughs> with, sorry, with, sorry. with such contempt <laughs> in, in your laughter. You are in our country now. <laughs> no, because Rob starring in a movie. It's about a male synchronized swimming team. Uh, <laughs> It's as if you knew yeah. Usain Bolt was going to be on the show. There you are. <laughs> yeah. He out. Yeah. I mean, you think of Stallone in his oh, prime oh, no, no, and you think of that. that no, there's Rob. There's Rob. That's, 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 that's me in the oh, middle. There we go. And, but the thing is, you kind of think, oh, male synchronized swimming, you know, that's just out and out comedy. But mm. this is based on a documentary. This happened. Yeah, so it's a real thing that middle aged guys getting together and doing sink swimming. Uh, there's a team in Sweden. This is based on a documentary. It's Often men with a little bit of drift, you know, they've lost their mojo, and they form a little group, and they meet up, get in the pool, and work out routines, and, and do them. And it's actually, you, you see the film, it's, it's quite yeah. touching, because they're all kind of looking for something, and there's something about men having to... They support each other emotionally mm -hmm. by meeting up, but they've got to reach out and touch. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to hold, or you've got, you've got to hold an ankle. You've got to, and, it, and it's, yeah. it's the odd thing with the film is you laugh, but also yeah. a lot of people said to me, oh, "I wasn't expecting to feel so quite so so moved by it." But it's hard. It yeah, is... So tell, tell us who you who you play. I play I play Eric, and he's an accountant, and he's married to Jane Horrocks. Yeah. And but it's not a happy marriage. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not a happy marriage. Um, and we're drifting apart, and he spends all his time at the pool swimming. And then one day he looks across and he sees this group of middle-aged blokes doing these routines. And they've got a problem, and because he's an accountant, he can work it out because of the numbers and the angles. Mm -hmm. And he, join, he leaves his wife, he joins the team, and he finds friendship in the team, and they enter the World Championships. All right, we'll talk some more about uh, the uh, actual swimming. Yeah. First, here's a clip. Uh, this is you and the team in the pool figuring out one of the moves. <laughs> I wouldn't want to spend that long in a swimming pool. Because if you're filming, oh, you must have done hours in there. Hours. You do, we did 12-hour days in the pool. It took a while. It took but a even the year. most basic thing looks really hard. So what's the first thing you had to learn? Right. Here's the th there's a thing called the egg beater. If you watch synchronised swimming people, they can... So if you're in the water, treading water, it's about there, isn't it? Those people can come up to there. and they have seen this. They do it with the egg beater. It's like a Ronaldo step over <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> so what you do is okay. yes, 90 degrees, yes, and you and you go like that, but really fast, really powerful. <laughs> and you do that. Don't worry, I'm okay with drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Never not to drink over in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you do that. I mean, Channing, feel free to I, I, to to, I, to, I, to, I, to that could be a bad school. <laughs> You, you, my friend, I bow down. It is hard. I mean, just doing that, now my thighs yeah, no, are great. That is hard. <laughs> it's so hard. But it's, so was that a public swimming pool? I mean, uh, well, it was shut they... down. It, right, it was a, yeah. a girls' school pool, and they shut it down sure. while, while we were there. But weirdly, though, uh, 
Jennifer, didn't you do a sketch with Dawn about synchronised yes, swimming? Synchronized swimmers. <laughs> yes, synchronised swimmers. Yes, I think it might have been the first series. And we always thought it was hilarious, synchronised swimming. Yeah. Um, but mainly the outer pool stuff, the marching <laughs> and the nose clips and the jumping in. <laughs> and um, I think it must have been first series, because I think by the second series we knew not to be in swimsuits on television. <laughs> we knew that was really... You'll regret it for the rest of... If you're showing a clip... <laughs> Because of the still, you're not moving. Okay. Is that right? You did it. Is all I, I know. Like, I, like, but <laughs> I don't think anyone will see it again. There you go. Oh, oh, you look oh, lovely. Yes. Yeah. The, no, the, nose the nose clips are essential because you know you, you're under the water, you're going backwards, and so we did this last year and then went away on holiday. And I thought I would impress the kids and look, look what I can do in the pool, you know. But without a nose clip, you nearly drown. <laughs> you go back and come. Oh, oh, oh. It's dangerous. <laughs> Gotta be very careful. It's dangerous. And, and looking at Jennifer and Dawn there in the yes. suits today, it struck me that uh, so Beatty, you must have been in school when that was on telly. Yeah, I think. Well, no, first she series. I was been born. Not born. Yeah. Okay. Not born. Not born, unborn. As would it, unborn. <laughs> unborn. <laughs> unborn. <laughs> but 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 so. so Growing up, was it a nice thing that your mom was Jennifer Saunders, or yeah. was well, it a kind of a, an yeah. embarrassing thing? I mean, I... I, I, I don't mean the actual of... woman, I mean the idea <laughs> of Jennifer Saunders on the telly. Yeah, well, I think I sort of assumed that everyone's mum and dad was on telly. I was like, so what show's your dad on? <laughs> <laughs> but I did come home one day and ask her if she was Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. <laughs> Because I didn't understand what. Didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Someone at school had said I yeah. was. Yeah, oh, your mum's Jennifer Saunders. I was like, Phew. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah. laughs> and, and but of course not just mom, dad, Ed Edmonton. Yes. Yes. Yep. So did they give you advice going into comedy and things? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure Don't you did. Don't be shit. I think it's probably. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one really good bit of advice my dad gave me when um, a boy at my school had got told off for doing a fart in class. Like, a really loud one. Um, and so I came home and I told my dad, and he was like, BT. And he got really serious. He was like, BT, don't you ever let anyone tell you that farting isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> Careers have been made yes, up. It built this yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Farting and falling over, yeah. honestly, <laughs> that's <laughs> career's amazing. Uh, listen, Peter Edmondson and Jennifer Saunders, because a new Disney Ooh, movie, it's called Patrick. You're up, you're up. Hello. Uh, it opens on the 29th of June, and now neither of you is Patrick. No. No. No, no, no. unfortunately. No, because yeah. uh, Patrick is this little creature here. <laughs> yeah. The star. Uh, the, 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 well, no, you don't no, so sorry, I'm so yeah. sorry. No, no. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no, no. For a moment, so Jennifer. So sorry. <laughs> the I film! Know. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that. It didn't can't mean be that. easy yeah. for you, BT. It really can't. No, it really isn't. Just stop staging me at every turn. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, sorry. Uh, so, uh, BT, who do you play starring in the movie? I play Miss Francis, who is an English teacher whose life has gone a bit off track. Uh, and then she inherits a pug who is extremely badly behaved. Um, and, uh, and, you know, she hates it to begin with, but then it's sort of... Turns her life around. Yeah, dogs change yeah. lives. Yeah. Jennifer, who do you play? <laughs> <laughs> I managed to be on set one day, um, <laughs> visiting my daughter, yeah. and somehow wheedled my way into yes. a small part of the film. She insisted on bringing a fat suit. I no, no, come on. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wondered if you'd gone all Robert De Niro for it. Because... No, I have found that actually, as one gets <laughs> slightly older, a fat mm. suit is oh, padding. Yes, um, I actually have my own padding. And I offer it up to anyone that wants it, you know, in the... So I said to Jenny Bevan, who did the costume, I said, well, do you know, I'd be quite, I'd be quite good in a small part. Yeah. I have my own padding. <laughs> um, she went, yes, I can see. Now I said, no, no, I, I have my own padding. It's very expensive stuff, padding. It takes a long time to is this the suit, make. Is this the suit you brought with you? This yes, I, I've got the suit. You want to see the suit? Let's see your padding. Well, can I just say that this suit was actually rejected? And I'll show you. I'll show you exactly why this suit was rejected. Oh, Excuse okay. me. I'm just going to show you my padding. Honestly, Here this we is go. this is the padding. Okay. This, is, this is the padding, right? <laughs> and um, <laughs> this, I'll, I'll get into the padding. Hang on a minute. Oh. It's much better. It's honestly much better if I'm in it. You'll get the. Mind your microphone. Don't put it up. Too oh no! High. I'll, yeah. I'll put it up just to here. Yeah, just to there. Yeah. Right, okay. and that's. <laughs> 
this is the padding that Dawn and I had made um, for when we were on tour. And it was rejected because I suddenly realised <laughs> that... <laughs> Shocked by that. <laughs> Extraordinary. It's like a little thing on it, though. I never. It's very realistic. <laughs> it's quite realistic. Yes. <laughs> very realistic. Yes. Um, Bald as a coot, though. I and guess. I, I sent it to Jenny without realising that, of course, <laughs> she was in for a bit of a surprise when she went into the underpants, because we used to use it to. Um, as a joke at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> we used to just get the bullies out of the fat men's costume. <laughs> so I had other padding made, and I, I, I'm really but. But if anyone ever wants to cast me anything with that, yes. it's there. It's all there. <laughs> it's <laughs> all there. Mm -hmm. So, so Beady, you not only had your mother and her padding on set, yes. Yes. but you, nearly all of your scenes are with, are with a, a, a small dog. Yes. I, I mean, do you like dogs? I love dogs. Oh, you know what? He uh, took a bit of convincing to be friends with me. <laughs> and what was the thing about the kissing? Yeah, he had to sort of lick me on my face, but he wouldn't do it. And every time I went to go and kiss him, he'd be like, I'm sorry, <laughs> who's... <laughs> Can we get her up? <laughs> but, um, so they had to put pate on my face. <laughs> which was uh, degrading. And I'm a vegetarian, so it was... <laughs> awful. And it wasn't even nice pate, it was from a tube. <laughs> oh. And he, yes, he did lick some into my mouth. Which was, Ooh. Uh, so I've got to take That's it. a tough day at work. Yeah, so dog yeah dog stick. saliva and cheap pate. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, this may come as bad news to you. Yeah. Uh, but we have an unexpected guest on the oh. show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> star, night, Matthew. star of the new <laughs> movie, Patrick. <laughs> Stop it. I got, oh, I got well, be, Patrick's been upstaged by a rubber cock, but never mind. It's really tough to come on. <laughs> Patrick's back there going, I've got to follow the cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pug. I'm not, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can, can he come on yeah. by himself or do you need to go? I'll him? go and grab him. Hang okay, on. you go well, grab if him. If he'll have me. Oh, oh. oh here he comes. Oh, he's oh. such a cutie. Oh. oh, Harley. Oh, hello, Harley. <laughs> oh, yes, that's his real name. His name's Harley. Uh, Hello. Oh, yeah. This is Harley. Oh. And he's looking at you, Jen. No today. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That is so he sweet. Because yeah. at home, what's your, your... You've got a lovely dog. Is it Olive? I've got Olive, a whippet. Yeah. Oh, so she's, sweet. She's a, she's a sweetheart. But yes. you are. This is a... Yeah, he's he hates it. a great character. <laughs> 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 That's him trying to bark. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's oh. I think I was coughing something up. I thought he was going to attack it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the trainer going, kill. Because, <laughs> Channing, growing up, uh, you had dogs, but it was not a good place to have dogs when you were growing up. Uh, what do you mean? Sorry. Well, didn't you... Was there, <laughs> wasn't there a problem? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I grew up in uh, Mississippi, so there was, <laughs> there was a lot of gators in the well, bayou. We should probably cover Patrick's ears for this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. There was a lot of dogs going missing uh, oh. in, the, in the neighborhood, <laughs> and, uh, and there's this really giant gator, and when the gators start to get very comfortable coming up to, uh, you know, sort of the, the human spaces, dogs will just start going down, like, like very oh. fast. So... My dad and his friends caught this gator and uh, spray painted its head white, thinking that the dogs would see this giant white thing coming up out of the water and run, and it didn't actually work. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh I thought it did work. No, it No, if anything, it was probably mesmerizing. It was like, oh, what is this white thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, did you say your father painted the gators white? Yeah. yeah. And he got, how, did he, how did he do Get that? that? Close to... They're just swamp people. I, 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 <laughs> they have yeah. their ways, so I did guess. you grow up around snakes as well? Yeah, lots. Yeah. Did you read that thing in the paper about the guy who... Uh, it's not. It's a yes. true story. Um, a four-foot rattlesnake, I think it was in America, so he went out and he chopped its head off, you know? Okay. And then when he went to clear it away, the head that was severed bit him. <gasps> yes! Because yes. the biting reflex stays in the snake. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I mean, how... Horrible is that? <laughs> and also, and also, how unlucky 
I've killed you and you've still killed me. <laughs> no, he survived. They took him to hospital and he had the to snake. have... He, no, 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 the snake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm afraid it's bad news for the snake. <laughs> but for the, the man, they took him and they gave him all this anti-venom and stuff. Mm. Um, wow. I didn't grow up around... I grew up in Wales. I didn't grow up around <laughs> snakes. We have a cat. <laughs> we, we have a cat okay. who, is, who is a killer. His name is Crumble. He's lovely to look at, but he's a killer. And he kills mice. He kills uh, frogs, bats he's brought in. He's brought squirrels in. But he does it now in a way that's very sinister. He brought a squirrel into the house through the cat flap. The cat flap is inside a cupboard. And then he bring, drags him in. He decapitated the squirrel, put the body in the centre of the living room <laughs> and a paw in each corner. <laughs> I swear he is sending a message... <laughs> To the squirrel community. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's, it's some kind of like a revenge film. Oh. <laughs> and you come down and you don't notice it first of all. You go to get your coffee and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, you see other squirrels on the lawn, terrified. <laughs> Putting each other. It's horrible. Yeah, oh, well, pa weird, Patrick's yeah. not like that. Patrick's an adorable yeah, pet. And uh, this is uh, a clip from the movie. And uh, sorry, Jennifer, you're not in this. But it, uh, it's Harley, <laughs> it's to find a Harley clip and uh, BC uh, bonding in, in, the, in your apartment. <laughs> uh, the movie is Patrick and it's out on June the 29th. The very best of luck with it. OK, time to meet our next guest. Uh, this man is the 100 and 200 metre world record holder. He has 19 gold medals to his name. He is quite simply the fastest and the coolest man on the planet. Please welcome Usain Bolt! <laughs> Very welcome to the show. Well, very nice to see you. Happy to be here. Oh, look, Channing's fangirling there. He's very... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm OK, I'm OK. I'm yeah. OK. You really are a big fan, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, huge, huge. Yeah. Very, very much. Yeah. And have you seen Magic Mike? Yes. <laughs> seen it. No, I'm you're not. lying. I I've seen it to catch some moves, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm this is where still casting for that <laughs> London show. <laughs> <laughs> now starring. <laughs> so this is exciting. The fastest man in the world is now the captain of the world in this year's Soccer Aid. Uh, so before we talk about it, here's yourself and Robbie explaining the idea. Soccer Aid for UNICEF is back. <laughs> Celebrities. Legends. And a brand new captain for the Soccer Aid World 11. Mm. Robbie, let me entertain you. You saying you can run, but you can't hide. Stick to singing and leave the football to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you can catch the match on ITV this Sunday at 6.30. So, obviously, it's a great cause. It's for charity. It raises loads of money. And I don't know you, but I somehow feel you are still going to take this quite seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> very, very seriously. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a competitor, so I compete at everything. So, I'm, I've been telling the team, listen, don't play around with me. <laughs> I, I need that trophy. <laughs> so. so, is it an England team and then the rest of the world yeah. team? So, who's on the rest of the world team? For me, uh, my favourite people are Perez, um, and then there's Yaya, there's going to be Sadoff, there's going to be Van der Sar, there's going to be a few guys that... I'm guessing I've those watched. are footballers. Yes. Yeah, OK. But those are the guys <laughs> I want to say, you know what I mean? <laughs> those are the good ones. <laughs> so who's the rubbish? Who are the famous I people? I'm not going to call them. <laughs> I'm not going to call <laughs> names. Will Ferrell is probably not the best soccer player <laughs> right? or football player. <laughs> But the other odd thing is, you know, after all the championships and the Olympics, we are finally going to see you head-to-head uh, -head with Mo Farah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's on the oh, English. Yeah, yeah, he's on the English. Yeah. Yeah. So, will you be kind of watching each other? Because presumably, you know... I, I was watching him training today, because we, we trained for the first time today. All he does is just run about. 
<laughs> he never gets tired, though. That's, that's, a, that's gonna be a big problem. He, he can keep going like a Duracell match. He just keeps going and going and going. Because how are you after the 10 second mark? <laughs> <laughs> Do you tire very quickly? I just went side down and sat down. That was it. <laughs> no, because it's cute. The, your shirt uh, that you'll be wearing, just in case people didn't know. <laughs> How depressing if someone's running after you up the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, 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 but this is a kind of a shop window for you, because I think I'm right yeah. that following retirement from athletics, this is what you want to do. Yeah, I, I want to pick something else up, you know what I mean? Challenge myself. So I decided, you know what, uh, football is something that I've always... What, soccer? Yes. OK. <laughs> uh, so football is something that... <laughs> translating, I would not have... <laughs> <laughs> but I've always loved, so I'm like, you know what, let's pursue this and see how far I can go if I really can get to the highest level. So I'm just pursuing, I'm just wow. training, working hard, and just, that's why I'm happy that I'm on this team with all these great football players, so I can learn. See, I yeah. worry for you, though, because, because you're used to being <laughs> it. You're used to being number one, you're used to it being all about you. Yeah. These ten losers will be trailing you. <laughs> They're going to annoy you. <laughs> no, you won't like it. No, I'm going to motivate. That's what I'm going to do. Don't make a competition out of every, anything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. It's yeah, true. Yeah. But, but, but you're saying uh, there's something so joyful about how confident and on the top of your game <laughs> you were. Like, this photograph says it all, really. This is you in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that is... <laughs> Oh, Look at those poor Egypts. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> There's souls left there, buddy. <laughs> you tried so hard. Wow. Um, because it's what was going through your mind then? Just thinking, I, was, I am very I, good. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. I wasn't even. I can't remember smiling in the race. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it just, just happened normally. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> You look cool at a finishing line. Jennifer Saunders knows this. <laughs> there's Jennifer. <laughs> 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 That's my own personal Olympics there. <laughs> personal best. Yeah. Yes. Um, and actually, Rob, this is so sweet. We've got an early picture of you. And now, what's going on? Are you nearly crossing the finishing this, line? I think you're oh, a yes, sack <laughs> Now, Usain, um, in the <laughs> evolution of sport, <laughs> You would be the pinnacle, <laughs> and I would say at the opposite end <laughs> would be this. If you look, this is the sack race. That's now, look, you. Is that I, you? Yes, that's me. Oh. I am yet to finish. Now, look to the right. <laughs> that boy is getting given his medal. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting the sacks ready in the street for the next race. <laughs> and I am still... Because I never give up. Ne never. <laughs> We've got a we, we've got a picture of a, a very young Channing oh. uh, playing American football. Mm. Have, you, have you seen that? You must remember this picture. By the way, if you're sitting at home with a baby like that, look what it could grow into. <laughs> <laughs> I think I ate that. I think I ate that football. Chocolate. Yeah. It was uh, just... But you were into football, weren't you? Uh, yes. Yeah, American football. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very much. So I played one year in college, but uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't something that I could take all the way. But yeah, okay. very competitive. Maybe not. Yeah. As competitive. competitive is this bad? That's no. how I felt about sack racing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I couldn't take it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my last race, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Retired early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're well, talking of retiring early. <laughs> at 31, like that is very young. You could have kept going for yeah. a few more years. Everybody keeps asking me, like, why did you retire? And the main reason, I remember I was talking to Michael Johnson, uh, and I was like, why did you retire? You were at the top of your game, and he said, I'd done everything I wanted to do, and I had no motivation. You know what I mean? And when I got to, after the Rio Olympics, that's exactly how I felt because my main aim was to win three Olympics. That's what I wanted to do, set the bar high. And after that, my motivation kind of just went whoosh. So for me, it's, if you have no motivation to do anything, it doesn't make any sense because you're not going to put your 100% into it. And it seems inconceivable now, but presumably someone at some point will beat your world records. You can, like, see, you can see into the future? Well, <laughs> I don't 
I don't feel so. I don't feel so. That's so confident not, I am right a, now. You, you think they won't get, no. they won't be. Didn't no. Kevin Hart beat you in a, in a beach race? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right, listen to this story. He's that tall. <laughs> but listen to this story, though. So we get to the beach, and it's supposed to be 100 meters. It's supposed to run 100 meters. <laughs> He's taking it uh, seriously. Yeah. 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 He's not He's letting so this go. Annoyed, you know what I mean? So they were like, oh, we're going to give Kevin 30 meters. You know what I mean? Well, it's going to be 100 meters. All right, cool. I probably have a chance. You know what I mean? It's on the sand, so it's harder to run. <laughs> On sand, you know. I don't want excuses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so now they go. All right, we're, we're gonna take it down to 80, but we're still gonna give Kevin Hart 30 meters. I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Bring it down to 20 meters. There, no, 30. I'm like, it was embarrassing. I was, I didn't, I wasn't. He happy. tells the story that he was not given uh, the 30 meters. He That's tells, what he said. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, he got the 30 meters. He got the 30 meters, man. Uh, but listen, obviously, you're famous for your celebrations when you win. You like winning, you like to celebrate winning. Um, so now you're in the world of soccer. Have you come up with your, your goal, <laughs> celebratory, dance, slash move? Uh, not, not really. Uh, I'm thinking, I, I like the slide. You know what I mean? When the football's running, they slide on their knees. Yeah. It looks good. That looks good. So imagine if I run the slide and then I hit the pose. Oh. Why? Oh. How is it painful though on the knees? Yeah, I'm, worried about, I'm not sure. Yeah, don't, if you don't, don't, if you don't get it right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it right, you're in trouble. Yeah. Channing, have you any moves you could suggest? I don't think he wants to do one of my moves. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm not sure. I only know like what basically one move. Uh, what, what, yeah. what move? What move? Uh, the caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the <laughs> uh, right, it's time for music. For the last ten years, this band has been captivating audiences around the world. Now they're back with a brand new album, performing Hunger. It's a warm welcome back to Florence and the Machine. <laughs> wow, that was stunning, Florence and the Machine. How epic! Come on over and uh, that live band. Let's hear it for them. The band were amazing. So are you. Lovely to see you. Come on over. Yes, good modern injury. Uh, that was beautiful. I just love what you do. Just fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. And also, welcome back because uh, new album. That is off the new album. Here it is. High as hope, ladies and gentlemen. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. You. How gorgeous. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> and that is out on the 29th of June. Yes. Right, so you're back in the world. I saw you were at the Radio 1 big weekend at Swansea. Uh, yes, yes, we were, yeah. Did you have a nice start? It looked like it was fun. It was really, really fun. They gave us a, like, nice dress, dressing room area, like a little place where we could get ready. But there was also a, a fun... The fun fair was, like, right next to it, and there seemed to be a ride that if you got on it and got to the top, it would spin you around, and you could see just right into my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Opening, the, I mean, to be honest, like, what are people going to see? It's oh, it's Florence in a nighty. They're like, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's on stage in a nighty as well. <laughs> but I'm glad people had a good time. In Swansea, that's a hell of a night. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, what a time to be alive and to be a Florence of the Machine fan because uh, you've got a new book out called A uh, Useless Magic. And now, what is that? It's your lyrics, but it's other things as well. Yeah, it's lyrics and um, poetry as well. Uh, but yeah, I've never had the lyrics written down anywhere before. They were never in the liner notes because I just was worried that they were not good enough. But maybe I'm like, maybe, maybe they're all right. Maybe we should <laughs> put them down somewhere. Yeah. So. Uh, and that is out on the, uh, the 5th of July. And presumably you're going to do lots of shows all summer and people can see you and... Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll be around. Yeah. They'll be around, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was absolutely stunning. Good luck yeah, with the album, good luck with the book. Uh, Florence of the Machine, everybody. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, uh, that's really it, but we do have time for a very quick visit to the big red chair. Who's there? <gasps> Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, who are you? That's Charlotte. Like her. Uh, Charlotte? Yes. Charlotte. And uh, where are you from, Charlotte? London. And uh, what do you do in London? I'm in HR. 
Oh, you're an HR. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Off you go with your story, Charlotte. So I was on holiday with Turkey with in Turkey with my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I prefer the original trip. Yes. <laughs> So anyway, so we were on holiday and we'd eaten some food and we'd got really, really ill. And so we had a couple of days in the hotel just sort of getting better. Anyway, we then got better and we went to the beach. And I thought, oh, I know, let's go on a pedalo ride. So we went out on this pedalo, we went quite far out. And suddenly I realised, actually, I wasn't better and I had to go <gasps> urgently. <laughs> so I had to jump off this pedalo, get out of my swimsuit, and I then had to swim out to sort of shore and just poo, <laughs> Anyway, so finally I did my deed. I had to get my swimming costume back on again, get back on this pedalo. I was like, please take us back, please take us back. And just as we did, we saw this woman coming towards us. She's got her goggles on, oh. <laughs> swimming. Oh. Good story. You can walk. That's a good story. Yeah, you can walk. I really want the next person to have been on a holiday in Turkey. <laughs> I was swimming along. <laughs> Should we try one more? Yeah, one more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, who are you? I'm James. James, lovely. And uh, what do you do, James? Uh, I'm a forensic accountant. <gasps> He's a forensic <laughs> accountant. <laughs> you don't work near. Do, you, do I walk my dogs past your office all the time? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> do I? I I've, nev I've never seen you. Okay, because there's a forensic <laughs> accounting office right near where I live. I always wonder what the fuck do they do. <laughs> but uh, now that I meet him, I find I'm not that interested. <laughs> <laughs> James, off you go with your story. Uh, so my wife is Sicilian, and the first time she put, took me back to Sicily to meet her parents, I thought it would be a good idea to try and learn some Italian. Mm. And my fallback option would be, like most English people, to try and add vowels to the end of English words if I forgot what I was or didn't know what to say. Um, after a few days of basically saying nothing, um, we decided to take a uh, trip to the local shops. And after driving around for ages trying to find a parking space, my now sister-in-law managed to squeeze into the smallest space that I think even Lewis Hamilton would struggle to squeeze into. <laughs> and I wanted to say good parking, but I didn't know how to say good and I didn't know how to say parking. Um, so I said bello, which is beautiful, and parkio, which in Sicilian means vagina. So I had to say <laughs> beautiful vagina to my now sister. <laughs> Tonight. Please say you thank you to all of my guests at Florence and the Machine. <laughs> Rob Bryden, Edie Edmonton, Jennifer Saunders, Channing Tatum, and Mr. Usain Bolt. <laughs> Do join me next week with pop group Years and Years and stars from the new heist movie Oceans 8. They are uh, actor Helena Bonham Carter, pop superstar Rihanna, double Oscar winner Kate Blanchett, and Hollywood royalty Sandra Bullock. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>